Our next topic after degree of freedom is thermodynamic cycles. Now we are talking about what is the meaning of this thermodynamic cycle. As the name suggests, it will be a cycle. Right. So a system is said to undergoing a cycle if its initial and final states are same. If a process or a system is undergoing a cycle, that means its initial and final states are same. States we already defined. States are the characteristics or the condition of a system which we are defining with the help of some intensive independent properties say pressure or temperature like this thing. So if the initial and final state of a system is same then we are saying that system is undergoing a cycle. Suppose in this graph if I am saying this is a pressure specific volume graph the process the system is initially at state 1 this is the point 1 the system is at point 1 which is having some pressure p1 volume v1 the system is going from point 1 to point 2 point 2 is having pressure p2 volume v2 if the system is going from point 1 to point 2 i am saying it is going via this process and i name it as the process a and from after reaching point 2 the system is coming back again to point 1 with the help of this process say process B. So in this case process that our system is starting from point A move towards point 2 via path A and from point 2 it is moving towards point 1 via path B. So this system starts from 1 ends at 1 so the state of a system at point 1 at initial and final state of a system at point 1 will be same so we are saying that this system is undergoing a cycle from point 1 to 2 from 2 to 1 via path a and then b this is a complete cycle if that in this case initial and final states are same so this is a thermodynamic cycle and this is a very common sense that two uh, minimum number of process which are required to make a cycle is two right there are n number of cycles there are n number of process which can make a cycle suppose if there are five process which can make a cycle also so minimum number of process which are required to make a cycle is two like in this one one process is from one to two via path a and another second process is 2 to 1 via path B. So in thermodynamic cycle that initial and final points are same. So if initial and final points are same and we know that the properties of a system is your point function not a path function. We already studied that properties are point function. So we can say that for a thermodynamic cycle the system comes to its initial state so the change in property at cycle change in properties of a cycle will be zero because it will not change properties will depend upon the points and if initial and final points are same there is no change in property so we are saying that the change in property of a cycle is zero there is no change of property no change of pressure temperature and other properties also so for a cycle change in properties are zero because your initial and final states are same. So I am saying that the change of property for a cycle 1 to 2, 2 to 1 is 0 because it is a cycle. Change in change of property for this complete cycle is 0 while as the change in property for one process. If I am saying I want to know what is the change in properties of a system when it is going from point 1 to point 2 via path A then change in property say we find we have to find what is the change in pressure change in pressure is p2 minus p1 change in volume means v2 minus v1 but that is only for one process that is your process a 1 to 2 so if i am saying that change in property for one process that is point 1 to 2 or you can say the change in property for second process that is 2 to 1 will not be equal to 0 as we can see in this diagram 
that P2 is not equal to P1, V2 is not equal to V1. So there must be some change in property for a process. But for a cycle, there is no change in property. So this is known as your thermodynamic cycles. Next, next we want to discuss very important things. What do we mean by reversible and irreversible process in thermodynamics? You come to hear these words reversible process, irreversible process in thermodynamics very frequently. We are using these words very frequently. So let me clear here what is the meaning of reversible and irreversible process. First of all, let me just read the definition of a reversible process. Reversible process means if a process is reversed in the direction. Suppose any process which goes, if I am saying here in this pressure volume curve, if I am saying initially my system is at point 1. This system will go via this process, via this path to state 2. State 2 is the final point. So this path or this process from point 1 to 2 is a forward process. So when the system is going from point 1 to point 2, something happens to the system. It pressure will increase as we see. Its volume increased. Some amount of work must be there. Some amount of energy transfer must be there. So from point 1 to 2, something happened to the system and system will go from point 1 to point 2 via path this 1 to 2 which I showed from here is through red line. So I am saying this is a forward path. Now my system reaches at point 2. From point 2, if I reversed the direction of the process, if I reversed this direction of the process in the direction of forward path means the reversed process will take the exactly the same path which is taken by the forward process. This reversed process is taking the same path as it was taken by the forward process. And if this is the case, if any process when reversed in the direction, it follows the same path, it follows the same path as that of forward path without leaving, without leaving any effect on the system and surrounding. If this is the case, then we can say that process is a reversible process. When the system is reversed from point 2 to point 1, now your system is starting from point 2, you are reversing the path, it comes to point 1. So in this process, if there is no effect on the system as well as on the surrounding, means System will come to its initial state, surrounding will come to its initial state and there is no change in the states of the system and surrounding. So that process is known as your reversible process. In reversible process, system and surrounding will come to its initial state without having any effect because of the forward and reversed process. If this is the case, those processes are known as reversible process. If in forward process and reverse process, there is some effect either on the system or on the surrounding or both. So that process is known as your irreversible process. So reversible process, there is no effect on the system and surrounding. Both system and surrounding are in their initial states. That is state 1. And we will discuss it further in our later lectures that the entropy generation, there is a term which is known as entropy generation. So the entropy generation for a reversible process is zero. We will discuss it later on. Just for your information, entropy generation for a reversible process is zero. So this is the reversible process. In thermodynamics, in coordinate diagrams like pressure volume diagram, temperature entropy diagram. So if we want to plot a reversible process in a coordinate diagrams of thermodynamics. Coordinate diagrams means there are property diagrams like pressure volume diagram, temperature entropy diagram, pressure temperature diagram. Lot of diagrams are there, lot of coordinate diagrams are there. If we want to plot a reversible process in our 
thermodynamics we are using a very firm line or a continuous line because we know the exact path which is taken by the reversible process so in thermodynamics any reversible process can be shown with the help of a firm line while if you want to show a irreversible process in any and in any plane in any coordinates in thermodynamics we are using dotted lines if anything is represented with the help of dotted lines it is a irreversible process so this is the reversible and irreversible process now what i want to i want to give a one example what is the meaning of leaving any effect on the system and surrounding so if i if i give you like a normal example if you have two friends if i have two friends one is mohan and one is suresh right so suppose i want that mohan gives me 10 rupees right mohan is surrounding i am the system these two people these two friends of mine are surrounding to me because you are study is only only focused on me right if mohan gives me 10 rupees right this is one process mohan gives me 10 rupees this is one process mohan loses 10 i gain 10 rupees and if i give this 10 rupees to another my friend like maybe suresh so then in that this is second process i am giving 10 rupees to suresh in this case if i am the system initially my i have 0 rupees finally when mohan gives me 10 i have 10 i gave this back to the suresh so finally i am at my initial state of 0 rupees right i take it from mohan and give it to suresh so i am at if i am the system i am at my initial state that is 0 rupees but if i am talking about the surrounding if i am talking about the surrounding in surrounding initially mohan has 10 and this suresh has 0 but after this whole cycle after this completion mohan has 0 and suresh has 10 right system is me is a, at the initial state of 0 rupees but surrounding is not at its initial state initial state is mohan has 10 suresh has 0 but finally Mohan is 0 and Suresh has 10. So system is at initial state but surrounding is not at initial state. So this process is not a reversible process. This is an irreversible process. So to make it a reversible then Suresh has to give this 10 rupees to the Mohan. If this Suresh gives 10 rupees to the Mohan on that case your surrounding will be in initial position but it is not the same path we are taking suppose mohan gives me 10 i gave it back to mohan then i am also at initial state mohan is also at initial state this is the same path i am taking so this is a reversible process but if i am giving this 10 rupees to some suresh so this is not a reversible process in reversible process both system and surrounding must be in their initial position if there is any effect either on the system or on the surrounding or both then the process will be irreversible process.